Uh, it would, it would, I, so I missed out on the halftime show, but, uh, I did hear, uh, Beyonce announced the album. I think Jackson and Biko were talking about it before we all hopped on to, but what, what she's doing a country album or what's happening? Yes. The, the signs were always there. Um, when Renaissance dropped, dropped, like the official title was Renaissance act one. And everyone was like, okay, what the fuck is act two going to be? And the answer is there. It's going to be a country album. And the signs were always there because when Renaissance dropped, right. She had that horse, if y'all remember. And the yeah. horse was in like a disco ball getup, right? It was disco ball finished, right? And we were like, okay, what the hell does... A, and, and the whole theme of Renaissance was she was reviving dance music, di- disco music, house music, et cetera, right? Like that was the theme. We're like, what the fuck does a horse have to do with, you know, black party music? But we see now, because act two is going to be country. And, and we saw the signs because she wore the damn country hat, um, you know, to the Grammys. Uh, Solange just dropped a heater of a picture of her wearing a country hat, like, you know, Ooh. this weekend. Yeah, baddie time. And um and yeah and and so we finally got some answers to the years old question of what the fuck the other acts are going to be and it's going to be a country album so very much looking forward to that. I I have a lot of um friends from Long Beach and Compton who are black women who love country who, they don't love country music but they love like square dancing or line dancing. That like, shit looks like, like vibes, vibes nigga. That yeah, shit looks like they'll, they'll, they'll go to. Well, and there's a there's a there's a place I think in Orange County that will do like a like a black ladies night too. You know what I mean? So I know I'm very happy for those people. I'll be cu- super curious to hear what a Beyonce country album sounds like. Hey, that, that is a woman from Houston, Texas. You know, that shit is in her dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like this is not a fucking, you know, some shit she doing just to do it. I'm sure this shit is ingrained in her. It's what she grew up in. Yeah. But, um, but, but while we here, yo, I want to give props to Tierra Wack because I feel like we've discussed before how, how big of fans we are. And Tierra Wack kind of had this premise a few years ago. And it was one of my favorite, um, you know, projects of of the year where she dropped like these these three ep series where she dropped rap pop and r&b and it was just like three songs each ep of course the the titles are self-explanatory of what the types of music she was doing there and they're really fucking good and my favorite song on there was actually a country song on the pop album called dolly where it's just her and a guitar and it is fucking beautiful so if y'all are hit to tiara whack go check tiara whack out man she is a fucking talent like like I i feel like a conversation that always pops up is Missy, man, she was so singular. She was incredible, which is absolutely true. And they're like, we need a new Missy, bro. Tierra Wack is like a branch off that tree. She is a talented young lady. So shout out to her. She made an album that was like, was it those EP that was like, was it 15 minutes? It was just minute songs. Like Wack that, World. And, it, yeah, and that dude, and she made the music video to associate with each yeah. song. Just a, a creative genius to me, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I'm a big fan of hers for sure. She's got a new album dropping in March too. Looking forward to that as well. So, and she's funny as hell on social, on Instagram. I love yeah, her. she is she hilarious. Is nigga, legit funny. She's talented in so many ways. Uh, do y'all have any uh, commercials that evoked a reaction out of you? Jesus had a lot of commercials today. Jesus, Jesus got 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 that bag. That motherfucker was dropping <laughs> Super Bowl. You got Super Bowl ad money, Jesus. Jesus need to break the people off, dog. The fuck. But yeah, it's bro, like. Super Bowl commercials, I don't want to be an old fuddy duddy, but it's like they just ain't got it no they more. They don't hit dog. no more, bro. Right? Like, like w- I remember when we were kids and we were watching the Super Bowl commercials, like there was gonna be something there that shifted the fucking culture. Like shit, Jackson's fucking um Why introduction. Not? That was yeah. that's a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we all like, went to school like I can't next- wait to go say Wada. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And we just haven't had those moments lately, man. I mean, it's it's kind of funny because like it's like corporations ruin everything, right? So it's like they have the rollout to the commercials and all this other stuff. But then I have to take a step back and be like, corporations ruined Budweiser Super Bowl commercials. Like I don't like it was always corporations, but they were at least I feel like funny, and we didn't have to have a rollout or like go to YouTube and watch the rest of Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> making that's jokes. That's my about least his favorite accent. part of it. The go to go to YouTube to watch the rest. It's like that's not. That's not, not what this is. Now, That's not what this is. What do you mean? Yeah. Go to YouTube. We're watching the, the Super Bowl. I, feel I like got to answer the question. In general, of... just aren't as good anymore, and that maybe it's me really being old at this point. But you know what I mean? But like creative industries, it just seems like like the movies, like music. Private equity has it's... sucked all the money out of everything Bruh. and made it impossible to work there. My, my homegirl works in that space. She was saying like, bro, she said one one campaign has gone out since 2020. And this is a big company, I can tell y'all when we get off camera. You know what I'm saying? But like, she's like, bro, the budgets are trash. Everybody wants to make shit for social. That's right. all they give a fuck about. You know what I mean? It's just not, shit ain't the same, bro. You don't like, 
people are coming up with good ideas, but people don't want to put money towards it. And even in the Super Bowl, yeah. it just feels like you're just throwing. It's, you could you could see the math in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just this is a big person. This is a big person. This is a big person. We'll put them Christopher together Walken this. and Usher. Like what felt yeah. like it could actually be a funny premise with Christopher Walken of everyone and doing it, their Christopher Walken impression. Man. Then they just throw Usher at the end. The, the <laughs> messy one. I'm just like not funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, think, I think they were trying, but it's just like, bro, you spent you didn't spend money on writers. You spent money on the people. You know what I mean? And it just yeah. doesn't like, hit. even for yeah. people my age. Like I have lots of people I know who are like. We, we not recently, but years, years ago, we're like, what's Doritos going to do this year? What's the Doritos ad going to be? This year? I wonder what it's going to be because they're, they gave you the weirdest fucking ads. And I was like, right. maybe they're good. Maybe they're shitty, but they're definitely weird. And they're definitely like interesting. And now I'm like, yeah. I just don't care anymore. We need to move into a post ironic age, you know, like we need to like stop being so self-aware and just do like funny frogs making stupid faces <laughs> and shit. Like we, you know, like. We need the Kia hamsters back instead of the meta Kia hamsters that part we've been the, living yeah. with for two decades. Part of the reason she was saying, like, you know, like there's best practices and best practices leans towards a particular group like Gen Z. Like everybody's trying to like they're scared of losing Gen Z. You know what I mean? And the way they're creating content is just all numbers. And it's just not mm -hmm. it, bro. That's not it. Feel me like. so. Bring back the mom and pop Super Bowl commercials of our youth. <laughs> God damn it. I feel like this is one time we got to tip our hats to Gen X and the boomers, bro. They were way meaner with the pen in those um, ad writing rooms than, so, than, than us, so. for sure. All that, that cocaine was... they were doing off each other's butts was fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you can make it magic, man, in the boardroom. Drug will fuck, yeah. Drugs will fuck up a lot of things, but not creativity, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, I did get to answer to. <laughs> I did get asked a question by my dad. What Scientology today? Which was great. <laughs> Lo love that. Love having that conversation. You had a hell of a evening. Bowl. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's there's a lot going on there. <laughs> Throwing right. chairs, you know what I mean? Fucking yeah. Scientology questions. Wow. I should add, I, I tipped the chair over. I didn't throw it. Okay. So we have, we have the bar important. chairs. Important. We have the bar chairs behind the couch. I was walking out of the room, and I tipped the chair over. You know what I mean? I didn't, oh, you, so like, you, you want to go get some room. air? You had to walk out of the room and like, I got to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just got your issue <sighs> okay. on the way out. You know what I mean? Had to let people know you were there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What's the dumbest shit you ever did? Like that you guys have ever done, like, like, do you, have you had and I was like, like that I'm in fans or something? Or you were like, I need to, I need to like chill the fuck out right now because this is a sporting event I'm not playing in. <laughs> Dog, I, I, I forget what game it was, but I remember there was it was probably just a regular as regular season football game, and I this was the first flat screen I bought too, right? Like this is like 2007, <laughs> 2008 or some shit. Yeah, and I re and I remember just pointing hard as shit at the wide receiver, <laughs> at the wide receiver that the quarterback missed on my flat screen, and I fucked up the pixels in there, and there was just always like this permanent purple like little blotch on my shit. And the way that it worked is that shit aligned in a perfect way where it was always on Alex Trebek's forehead oh, whenever I watched God. Jeopardy, bro. Like right in the middle of this motherfucker's forehead was a purple blotch, reminding me of how much of a fucking idiot I was to. To fucking point at my flat screen because I was pissed that a quarterback missed a wide open receiver. You gave Alex Trebek the scarlet letter, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing the symbol of your ignominy. <laughs> yeah. Had that man looking like it was Ash Wednesday every day, dog. Like, it was crazy. Uh, all right, let's close with our Jackson. Do you have you ever done? I can see you throwing something at a no. window when you were watching a Red Sox game. Well, when I most of the Red Sox stuff I did, I was like a kid, so mostly they involved yeah. tears. The, the only things for me that I would like classify as more embarrassing is I don't I choose usually to not watch games that I'm really invested in, like like the Super Bowl or whatever uh, in public. Uh, but, yeah. Yes. Right. I feel like it's a reasonable thing to do. And let me I, I just pause you there. Like, it's insane to me that I still have people who are like, where are you watching the game at? I was like in yeah. the house with the it's windows tough, closed right? and the doors <laughs> locked. Stress you have your fuck fucking out. mind. Bro. And I feel like now as a as I've worked in sports for a long time now, I'm like not that I'm not that crazed of a sports fan anymore. But Celtics Heat game six last year, the one where Derek White had the the tip, 
uh we were watching it out at a bar i, I was kind of like we're down three two like whatever like i don't we're probably good we're, we're, we're cooked, you thought right? you were you were I thought me I was in a safe, you, safe you were place. where i was at noon today i was like, like i'm good it's my home i'm good it doesn't get, even yeah, matter right. right and obviously that game was fucking insane and so i was just freaking out and just kind of like bothering people in in the bar i mean that's what everyone was doing in the same bar we're all watching the game that's kind of just like bothering people i think and kim was like yo like we're in public right now. Can we, like, <laughs> relax a little bit. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you? Do you not see the score? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, all right. Looking for a super offer for Super Bowl Fifty Eight? DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into two hundred instantly in bonus bets. I know the line has been moving around a little bit, but as of right now, the Forty ers are a couple point favorites. I know even if the 49ers were 20-point favorites, Mike would still be nervous watching that game. Fact. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code Jenkins. The crown is yours.